Alright. I, I should actually come up with an intro to say every time. I just kind of say alright and go right into it. Anyway, I need to go to the Grim Chapel. That's probably it. Don't wanna get in her way. Sweeping the streets. Now, important business. Okay, so I'm kind of afraid of this quest because it's collecting ingredients and most likely it's gonna require a hell of a lot of grind and it's gonna be a gigantic pain in the ass. Okay, but doesn't look like a side quest talk. Yep, it's not. Didn't I do quests like this before? I think I did. I think I even did similar quests in Trails in the Sky. Oh, hello everyone! Good day, Sister Thermis. Have you grown accustomed to the, to the ground while I was away? I have! Everyone's been so kind! The only thing I just can't get used to is Father Hamilcar's... Look at the... Jesus Christ, what the hell is that word? Okay, lackadaisical approach to his work. It's the most weird word I've seen in my life! Huh, <laughs> that's so understandable. He has good points, though. Really? I've yet to see him act like a responsible adult even once. We probably shouldn't be gossiping about this, though. I assume you all came here because of my request, right? That's right. I'd like to tell you... I'd like you to tell us a little more about it. Request mentioned what you plan on making an offering. That's correct. I'll need a number of items in order to make it, and I'd like you to collect them for me if you're able. Do you have the time to take this on for me? I mean, I understand it if you don't. Alright. Sure, we'll fit you in. Thank you very much. Oh, the phone is ringing. I'm probably gonna ignore it. Allow me to tell you about what I need you to do. As Lady Laura knows, it's a custom here in the Gram to ho hold a s memorial service for Saint Sandlot and the Eisenreiter each year. The period in which this service is held is coming up rather soon too. That sounds like kind of a down, kind of a downer. Well, it's not supposed to be a lovely event. The memorial service is held to mourn the brave warriors who gave up their lives during the War of Alliance. The church believed in the service. The people here seems to have a strong belief in animism, so I wouldn't have expected them that to be the case. Not quite. The church is just assisting with it. Animism has much deeper roots than the church here, so it's only natural that we respect that. Really? That doesn't sound like something the church would do. George would do something like, oh, you worship something else, they better fuck you up. Or, you know, just steal their celebrations, like, uh, Christmas, that was a pagan holiday. You know, stuff like that. I'm trying to remember any other celebrations like that, but yeah, I can't, I can't think of any. Probably Easter was uh, some harvest festival or some shit like that. The ground seems to be similar to Northern that regard. Yeah, animism is just as widely believed over there as it, as it is here. And yet despite that, both communities believe in the church teaching as well. Well, the church has never once denied the existence of spirit after all. Spirits after all. In my opinion, that's one of the reasons that teachings have spread across the continent like they have. I think ATS has a big enough heart for everyone, huh? <laughs> Quite right. It's back on the topic though. I've actually been asked to prepare an offering for the me memorial service myself. Oh? Will this be your first time doing so? It will. Because of that, I'd like to practice a little before the surface itself. That's why I'd like you. I'd like to ask you all to collect ingredients I need for it. Oh, so that's how it is. What exactly will you be making? I'm going to be making pretzels. But that's your offering? Pretzels? Seriously? Uh, uh, huh. Huh. Those, those are ready things that look like they've been twisted into a knot, right? That's right. However, the pretzels used for the me memorial service are made to look like the spirit monument here in town. Well, that's some fancy pretzels. I assume you... <coughs> I assume you're talking about that unique looking monument in the center of town. The very same. The pretzels here are generally baked to be rather hard, so they'll last longer. It's even said that Eisenreiter carried them onto the battlefields in their co combat rations. I suppose that explains why you're giving pretzels as an offering, man. It's quite a fascinating historical tidbit. Yeah, I wouldn't mind the chance to see Erebonia's most time-honored pretzels. What ingredients do you need to get? Need us to get? Oh yes, I almost forgot. I need you to collect five hearty powders, five clear gelatins, and a type of seasoning called white seed. White seed, huh? <coughs> well, it shouldn't be too hard to beat up some monsters for that stuff, but not exactly... Oh, Jesus. 
They seem to be one of the Grimes local crops, according to Fava Hamilcar. Unfortunately, we're not really in the season right now, so none of the stores here have any. Well, I think that part should be simple enough, fortunately. Our host household head chief should have some on hand. Oh, that's a huge weight off my shoulders. Right, well, let's start our gathering. Why should we make our way too fast? Or is home or highway? I'm fine the highway. I'll have to go to both eventually anyway. Well, it's almost closer, so we're gonna go there. Anyway, that conversation took him way, 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 way too long. Oh, uh, the phone stopped ringing. I didn't notice that, but... I hate when phones ring. It triggers my anxiety. Just... Every time it rings, I'm just... <laughs> just shut up every time. Oh, hold up. Okay, so the second floor, or...? There's... Why does it show it like it's not... Ow! Oh, it's because the second floor is covering it, okay. Well, that makes sense. Oh, God, I'll do this accent! Hello, Lady Laura! Is there something you need from me? There's a, there is a request I'd like to make of you, if I... Uh, to make of you, if I may. But you happen to have any white seed on hand? Of course! Why? It'd be crazy for me not to have someone on hand! I've got this sword away, and I always make sure you never run out. How much do you need? I can give you an entire crate if you want. Well, I don't think we need quite that much. Yeah, well, then. I suppose a small bag full of full should do a trick. My thanks. Anything for you, Lady Laura. All people here really love her, don't they? <laughs> I'll say. I just want to take a small look around. Ooh, that's colorful. I wonder what that's supposed to be. Anyway, so I guess we're gonna have to fight monsters now. Can I check the amount I need? Uh, hardy powder, white gelatin, white seed. Um, hardy powder, clear gelatin. Okay. Hardy powder, clear gelatin. Uh, quartz, random uh, minutes. Okay, hardy powder. Have a ton. Go up the gelatin. Clear gelatin. Wait, do I have all of it? Seriously? Uh, huh. I already have all of it. That is extremely convenient. I did not expect that to be the case. Huh. I... Hmm. Huh. That is... Hmm. Yeah, I... I seriously did not expect that. But that's usually a really inconvenient quest where I have to just grind, 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 grind. I seriously thought about cutting. We sure have. Here we go. Oh, and here's the white seed you wanted. Thank you so much. There should be plenty. Could you wait in the adjoining room while I mix a, up a trial batch then? Sister Thermis made her pretzels and handed out a sample to everyone. How do they taste? I'm a little surprised, to be honest. In a good way, I mean. Indeed. These are actually better than I was expecting. Tasty and filling. And free! Yeah, that's the most important part. Actually, wait. We did give her stuff for it, so... It's not free! Ah! Thinking that what the generator may have eaten something like this to keep fighting on. It's kind of moving, really. It really is! Thank goodness. Um, and what do you think of them, Lady Laura? Oh, my apologies. I was so engrossed, engrossed in the taste, but I forgot to speak up. They're delicious. If I hadn't seen you make them, I'd swear they came from the kitchen of a professional chef like Joseph. Thank you for giving me the chance to try them. <sighs> hey, Laura. Hmm? There's still some time before the, me the mor memorial service, but... How about we offer some of these to at the St. Sandlot statue now? Hmm? I'd like that. After all, there's no limit on when you can leave an offer in. Would you mind if we took some alone, alone then, sister? <laughs> Not at all. It would be rude of us to indulge uh, in all of this on our own, after all. Please go on and take some. Alright. Let's be on our way then. I've got a pretzel power. <laughs> Yay! Uh, damn, I don't know how voice actors do this shit. It's difficult, guys. It's really, really difficult. Okay, so get into a statue, right? 
if there's any someone to be here with me doing some voices. You know what? No, all the voices. <laughs> I can't do voices. You know, the three gigantic statues with tiny little pretzels just kind of looks pathetic. There we go. I'm sure this will put a smile on her face. Now what's left for us is to pray. Are there any special requirements for prayers of this sort? Not particularly. But it is the custom to remain quiet while prayers are being offered. <laughs> well, well, let's get up and pray now then. <gasps> I was focusing so hard on being quiet, I ended up holding my breath. Huh? Are you guys still going? It was a valiant battle to remain silent for even a single minute, but alas, victory remained elusive. <laughs> Don't be too harsh on her. Well then, shall we make our way back to chapel? Yeah, we should report back to Sister Termis just in case. <coughs> why? <laughs> Actually, yeah, why? Thank you so, so much for your help, everyone. I feel bad for having you run all around town just for my sake. No worries, we're always glad to lend a hand. Yeah, never done a job where pretzels were a fringe benefit, but it was worth it. They really were delicious. If a badge you make from a memorial service turns out that good, you have nothing to worry about. I'll do everything I can to make sure that's the case. Oh, I'll yet to off I've yet to offer you all your reward for helping me. It's not much, but please take these. Okay, I'm trying to remember, do I have any of that? I might do, but... Yeah, it's not an important thing, it's a consumable which is Star's Manor. Not a big deal. Thank you very much. But be sure to put them to good use. That's one down, at least. Yeah, let's move right into the, the one. Alright, we're gonna find some monsters now. Uh, trying to remember where could that monster be. Also, I should probably eat something for CPU. Probably still have some cr crispy pizza. Let's see. Uh, uh, EP? No. 15 CP. Okay, yeah. Only 47. Can I buy more, actually? Hold up, let's check my grocery store. That's only a store, right? Kind of a small town, all things considered. Okay, you look like you might sell some food. Shop. Okay, that's no food. And then, oh wait. One, one, okay, that's one I don't have. Uh, 99, 98, Up, zero. Prevents confuse. That's speed. Uh, let's get me 20. Just cause. Okay. Wait, just 10 health? I think used to restore whole, full health. Well, that's a pretty hefty nerf. Okay, is there anything else? Anything else? No, I don't think he sells anything else important. I can still make a crispy pizza, I guess. I can figure out how. Uh, crispy pizza, right? Health, poison. Okay, we're the only source. Victor sandwich. Let me click through sandwich. It's listed there. How do I? Oh, it's a chance to make a victory sandwich. If you make a tomato sandwich with someone who likes it. Uh, how many can I make? Ooh, red beast flesh. I don't have too many of that. Okay, that's the thing I can't buy it too much of. Uh, it's a thing which I can't buy it in the drops. And crispy pizza is the same deal. Okay, I don't want to actually waste any kind of items. I need to actually farm. I only want to waste the stuff I, I just can buy easily. Special bits, so 25. Uh, I guess I can waste a ton of it. I'm just wondering if I will be able to buy it later on. Okay, 75, 100. Okay, 75, 200. Okay, 30, 80, 100, 30. 5, 80, and there we go. Okay, and juice. Does he have a break? I don't remember actually. Oh, right. Oh, wait. Yeah, I, I couldn't figure out how to check with his break. 
Yeah, remember we want to get a new one. Okay, 25, where is it again? 77, that's one. And uh, juice. Actually, I should get everyone to, at 200. There's no reason to not have everyone topped off. Alright, there we go. Okay, Minnie's kinda low, let's get her some CP. Yeah, having infinite money is great. <laughs> Wish I could do it in real life. Just open a program, poof, I have infinite money. <laughs> life is great! <laughs> I could just eat crispy pizza all day. What was it? Or what was it? Super pizza? I already forgot the name of the item I was using. Like 20 off. Ah, whatever. Ooh, we got in. Oh, all the fog in the highway has dissipated as well. Yeah, it's so much easier to see all the surrounding areas now. Totally. I could hardly see my hand in front of my face yesterday. Well, this we don't have to worry about getting lost today. You may find out on the truth throughout the area of what we missed yesterday, too. It's very likely. We should keep an eye out for those while we're looking for the beast we need to slay. Okay. All things considered, the map didn't... Oh. It did change. Huh. I... Hmm. I did think it was kinda... Uh, I don't know, it wasn't a straight path as a point. But right now there's actually more stuff going on. Looks like there's a path over, over this way too, but I didn't notice it when we were passing yesterday. The mist has cleared today, which makes seeing paths through the area much easier. I think this path leads up to the top of a hill. Perhaps, but we'll need to do something about this log before we can get there. I we could snap this log like a toothpick. We'll leave that heavy lifting to you and Lamy then. Hope you don't mind. No problem now. Okay, yeah. Actually I'm curious, what how do how does it react to everyone else? Okay, there's nothing. My turn. There's nothing. Ah, oh, she can actually break this. Just like Lamy. Cool. Well, I guess con all things considered, her sword is just gigantic, so. No wonder she can shatter it. Okay, so... Ooh, that one looks tough. Okay, that's not a monster. If it's a class monster, the warning appears. That's one thing I learned. Ooh, oh, cool wow. bitch. there's a river out here. Uh, I remember playing in this river when I was young. Like you're old now. Okay. Oh no, those green things again. Leave me alone, palms. I don't like you. Alright. So. Ooh. That's an interesting path. Alright. The weather's pleasant today. A fine wind blowing too. I wanted to say not as fine as you, but yeah. <laughs> okay. So I'm assuming monster should be here, but I didn't see anything on the mini map. Up, oh, nope. I see something. Oh, an archaism. Is that? Not even a monster towel sent us here to take care of. I've never seen anything like it. Is it even alive? Hmm, kinda looks like some sort of machine. Anyway you look at it, there's clearly something strange about that thing. I suppose that's why we've been sent to exterminate it. At this point we can't just go back without finishing the job. Yeah, I say let's see what this monster is made of. On your guard, everyone. This monster seems dangerous. Be careful. I'm confused, why is it, does it dance? See how it keeps wiggling? Why does it do that? Look, he's looking at me! He's gonna take care of his bosses. Ooh. Anyway, yeah. This might actually be a challenge. Good. My turn! Alright, so we'll approach this. Um 
Uh, I guess this is type of usual. What do you get? Depression? Sure, why not? My turn. Uh, why not? Uh. Okay, so so he can splash attack on his main attack. Good, good, good to know. Wonder what else does he have? It's my turn. He doesn't hit too hard though. Well, your health is really low. Okay, impression, otherwise. Let's use the ray. He's supposed to be a bigger powerful spellcaster. Not impressive. Oh, she doesn't have an S break. Huh, that's unfortunate. Uh, should I just go straight to S burst? Eh, yeah, let's go for it. Okay. Do that. Okay, hers is new. Hers I wanna watch. So far looks the same. So basically she just chops him three times. To That's not too impressive. Yeah, just does break him a little bit and he's dead. <laughs> That's how all enemies are. It seems more appropriate to say we destroyed it. Yeah, I didn't get the feeling they were fighting a living creature. A mechanical monster. Something like this doing on the, out on the highway near the Gram. Might our intelligence division's cadet be able to shed some light on this? You are one with a mysterious mechanical companion, after all. That's a good point, actually. I don't think this thing has any relations, relation with Flemmies. For one thing, it looks like it's made of metal. And... and Lemmy isn't? That's true. Our Gatlum and the combat shells we use in our practical exams seems to be made of some other substance. And while they may be inorganic, the combat shells do have a certain kind of warmth to them. What? Certain kind of... what? Girl, are you high? I don't see how it matters. They all seem suspicious. But me, but Vinny's probably right. This thing doesn't seem enough like I uh, get them to link with you. Let's head back to the gram. I have a feeling Tolo will be will want to hear about this as soon as possible. True, he may know something about it himself. Back to the gram it is then. Jeez, it's an archaism. Like you you don't know. You fought him a bunch of times already. Come on. And all that stuff with uh, uh, Jaegers and the... Uh, was it Jaegers? I don't even remember. Uh, I forget the name of that organization of bad guys from the Trails in the Sky of the second game. But yeah, they used those robots extensively. Some of them could fly, some of them looked like attack helicopters actually. Like full-on modern helicopters. Uh, some of them looked like some weird cat robots or wolves and some of them had swords in their mouths as well as of being giant it's robot enormous. wolves and not is not Stay badass enough so yeah just having some kind of good life looking thing is not that impressive or strange but it is strange how it's it is enormous. here Stay on guard. yeah that's the wrong way Actually, yeah, wait, what's the ammo, ammo level? 42. Hmm, I guess it's just not very durable. That's why her health gets so low. Okay. Probably base that for her defense is pretty low. Okay. And there's the entrance. Or exit, depending on how you look at it. Everything can be an entrance. If you look from a different side. That just sounds dumb. <laughs> Something seems amiss here. The town, the, the town isn't usually this no noisy. Huh? What the hell is that? Looks like the liner is back at the harbor. But who have those weird people around it? Uh, looks like provincial army, I guess. Wait, the lord is home. Shouldn't you, like, get out of here? We look like we are 
were soldiers from one of the provinci provincial armies. It certainly seems that way. White and purple. I seem to remember seeing those colors back in Heimdar. I believe that combination of colors represents the Lamar Provincial Army. But Lamar is the, on the other side of the Empire. What business could the Provincial Army have in Legram? <laughs> hey, looks like you're back. Doval? Um, do you have any idea what's going on here? Warden Street is made a requisition to the liner from the wharf on, on the far shore. So why we've seen Lamar's a provincial army and not Sutherland is still kind of a mystery. Apparently though some big shot noble is visiting the list the Viscount as we speak. Another noble visiting father. Who could possibly? That's a bit concerning. Well if you're curious, why don't you go take a look yourselves? Since you turned from a highway, that means you took care of that monster, right? Well, that is true. Actually, there was something I wanted to ask you about about that. Yeah, I'll give the description of the monster. Mechanical monster, you say? Double. You got some idea as to what it might be? Well, I'm not sure, but I think I will take a look at what's left of it just in case. Anyway, good work out there, guys. Here's your reward. Ooh, that's a useful thing. God damn, I want more of that. I should open the cheat engine and get more of this stuff. That stuff is basically upgrading your weapons. And it's actually not that cheap. You get like 5 for an upgrade, and I got 7. Imagine using it on every single character. You need a lot. I'll leave checking out what's going on in this like I mentioned to you. Huh, he definitely seems like he knows something, we don't. Hmm, well, for now there's no harm in leaving matter to him. Right, we should see what's going on at Laura's house. Agreed. It's her house, after all. <laughs> Alright, moving on. What's up, assholes? Hmm, they don't seem to flinch. Kinda like those... Strutting around another lord's territory. How pompous can you get? <laughs> it sounds like there's a real VIP here. Well, let's return to the manor for now. Strutting around the Navalord's Lord's domain, says Juices. Oh, hey, is that? I don't recognize who is that. There's no need to be so hasty. At least give my proposal some thought. Your attendance would add an extra degree of prestige to our gathering. Uh, I'm merely the lord of a minor rural region. Surely you overstate the importance of my presence. A man's war is decided not by himself, but by those he rubs elbows with. And while I'm sure you understand, I'd appreciate it if you didn't do anything to cause any unnecessary conflict. I'm not sure giving combat training to the Imperial Army is something you ought to be doing either. After all, neither of us want any trouble now, do we? I... <laughs> and with that, I bid you fond very well. Oh, and my compliments to an excellent tea. I'm honored, your grace. See ya. Excuse us. We should have been wise act happy. My, if it isn't young Laura. And Juices Albare, too. It's a pleasure to see you again, in Your Grace. I appreciate you, uh, all you continue to do for my father. I must know him. Yeah, but look at how tense they are. I was expecting him to show up here, all, of all people. Let's do Cayenne. Pepper! Head of the foremost. Uh, of the uh, four great houses and ruler of the poor city of Ordis. His authority extends over the entire province of Lamar to the west. Your outfit is ridiculous. I'd love to stay and talk a while, but I'm afraid other urgent matters call me away. I'll endeavor to arrange another opportunity for us to meet in the near future. But for now, I bid you farewell.
Oh, what do we have here? So you two sick military killing me close seven, eh? Who do you? Oh, just happened to do a little leisure time reading on your class. Not a bad looking bunch. Good, good. Now that the chit chat is great to wait. Excuse me. See ya, kids. Who are those men? They didn't look like soldiers from a provincial army, that's for sure. And we did seem to know about our class. I presume for a personal bodyguards hired by Duke Cayenne. The Russian dancing men are favored by Paris Cayenne. Power? Huh, he didn't look so concerned. However, it seems like we finally began to act. A noble faction has been uh, began acting in secret? Indeed, for the past month we've been quite active behind closed doors. Now we're trying to reaffirm their unity, holding conference after conference all across the country. Of course, I'm sure this isn't news to uh, your youngest classmate. Oh well, yeah! The intelligence division's all on edge. Wondering when they're about to start full-scale conflict with reform reformists. <laughs> Uh, then what the hell's wrong with me? Seriously? Tch. Now that's what we've been up to, scaring around all this time. But since Duke Kayan's basically the leader of a noble faction, I wasn't, I wasn't sure him... I was expecting him to come all this way out here in person. Nor was I. They appear to be playing a large conference. Planning a, la a large conference in the near future. To be attended by all the members of a noble faction. The Duke came all the way out here to insist what I attend. But father, you're not even a member. Quite right, my lady. Oh, quite right, my lady. Your father has long kept his distance from the faction. In the same way, he has kept space between himself and the reformists, preferring to remain neutral. However, we have convinced that all the nobles should belong to the noble faction as a matter of course. I've heard we've been quite forceful about bringing those nobles who don't support the faction into their ranks. Would I be correct in assuming that my family is involved in all of this? I'm afraid so. There's been some disagreements over whenever Duke Cayenne or Duke Albaria should be the four great houses. But I expect what I expect what either would bring the same platform to to the table. Juices. If you don't mind me asking, do you happen to know where my family stands on the issue? <laughs> you need not worry about your family's allegiances. Lord Schwartz is widely known as an even more obstinate man than I, than I am. I can't imagine that he would have any interest in supporting questionable actions of other nobles. <laughs> I see. I'm actually a little relieved to hear you say so. Hmm, hold on a moment. Perhaps there is a move we can make, it af make after all. I'm afraid I'll be leaving the gram again on the hour of my little trips. I apologize for suddenness, but please tend to, to things in my absence. As you wish, my lord. Father? Well, well, that was sudden. I believe in acting swiftly and decisively. I intend to establish contact with all nobles who have remained neutral in the ongoing factional, factional conflicts. So as to prevent them being taken in by the noble faction coercive ag coerce co coercive methods. Ah, Popper. A brilliant course of action, I think. In that case, I'd be happy to come with you. Toll? What are you doing here? Ah, so you're here as well. Huh, would miss a chance to catch a glimpse of a majestic Duke Cayenne. Did you know he left a limousine that came all the way from Bariad? Wait, seriously? On the road that huge? I mean, long? Wait then. It couldn't have been. Did it belong to the Albaria family? Well, Rufus Albaria got into it, so yeah, I'd say that's likely. Couldn't ask for a classier in this card. He, he didn't even say hi to his brother. What a dick.
thought we would talk. That's why it was quiet. So Rufus was here. Well, he is the heir of, heir of Albania family. Considering our visitor had, was none other than Duke Cayenne, it's not at all surprising what Rufus would pick him up. But I know you didn't just come here to volunteer your company on my trip. Well, it just so happens that these guys here brought me a pretty curious story. I got confirmation that a mechanical monster appeared on the highway outside the gram. Is that so? I believe this is the first time once appeared since the counteroffensive counter offensive Circassius launched two years ago. Okay, hold up, what are we talking about? Did he launch the robots? He didn't do that. He doesn't know how to use robots. Hell, nobody except boot bad guys could use them before. I'm trying to remember what the hell is he talking about exactly. Because this should be in the trails on the sky, but... Huh. Come to think of it, that was the first time we met, wasn't it? It was indeed. What a strange coincidence. Have any ever been found in the area? Nothing so far. This is just a hunch, but I suspect it has been reduced as a diversion. I could care. Hmm, perhaps having you come with me is the best course of action after all. Alright, alright, that's what I wanted to hear. Father? How many times did you say father in the past, like, five minutes? Seriously, that's like tenth time already. Sounds like there's a lot more going on here than just factions butting heads. Sorry, I can't say anything for certain just yet. But if we turn up anything concrete, I'll be sure to tell Sarah, and she'll pass it on. Hmm... Wonder what's gonna happen now? Alright, here's what I've got for you this afternoon. But you won't even be here to, re to get a report! Oh. It's just a second request. Huh. Colonel Fisherman, could someone catch me in the elusive gold salmon? Find it where uh, Apricot's in for more detailed information. Shit. I didn't fish yet, even off screen. Oh, I don't like this. When you finished for the day, up for the day, I'd appreciate if you could head to a guild and file your reports. Left you a note on the counter telling you how to do it, nothing too difficult. Got it. Leave it to us. Just make sure to lock up before you leave for the night. Someone else should be coming in to take care of things tomorrow. Understood. We'll do our best to take care of the guild in your absence. Huh. I wish you well in your studies. And I hope you'll forgive me for leaving so suddenly. Not to worry, father. I'm used to it. Thank you again for your hospitality and for agreeing to a duel. I look forward to our next meeting. As do, as do I. You show great promise as a swordsman. I hope you'll continue to devote yourself to your studies and training alongside my daughter. I'm honored, sir. In fact, I hope all of you will look past her uncouth father and continue giving her friend your friendship and support. As a single father, the fact that I've yet to hear any tales of budding romance concerning my daughter has me worried. Father? <laughs> it would be our pleasure. Is your destiny popular with the girls, though? I pray you have a safe journey. Thank you for all you've done for us. Huh, <laughs> catch you later then. Give my best to Sarah. Oh, you know I will. Alright, so, what exactly do we do now? <laughs> Why must he always be so... so... <laughs> Honestly, you've got one amazing dad. Free-spirited, open-minded, not to mention Grim Strong. Haven't met him, I can tell you how... how you grew up like you did. Huh? Huh, Rian's right, you know. You're living proof that great parents lead to great, chi great children. Oh, so that's why I suck so much. I suppose having someone like him in your life as a role model would naturally lead you to aspire to greatness. Well, I to feel woefully inadequate in comparison and develop an inferiority complex. But all told, you're living proof the daughter of our seed house has grown up sound in mind and body. Stop teasing me at once! <clears throat> Moving on. Towel has entrusted us with looking after the guild. You may have only half a day remaining, 
but we still have our duties to fulfill. Ah, look at her, trying to change the subject. I am not! Well, she is still right. After you return to the guild with you to file a report on the will advance to you, then the main story will proceed. Uh, should I even check with one of the stupid phone again? I hate you, phone! Stop ringing! I don't like you! Okay, so. Uh, that, that, that's it. Okay, let's go to the end. Uh, oh, there it is. Yo, what's up? Oh, hello everyone. Have you come along to have seen the request to send the towel? Look, that's right. You're in search of some sort of elusive fish, correct? I am, I am. I feel like I should apologize for asking you guys to help me with a personal request, but I offer it. If you are, I can share the de details with you all right now. Nah, fine. You're in luck. I scheduled just happened to have an opening. Oh, thank you very much. Just like we just mentioned, I want you guys to seek out a certain elusive fish for me. It's a peculiar variety of salmon known as gold salmon. Just like my name says, its body has a golden glow, not unlike the look of gold itself. I don't know what that is. That must be quite an exquisite fish. It sounds a lot garish, honestly, but I'd have to see it to judge for myself. Have you ever seen this fish before, Viber? Unfortunately, all I know what I've heard from the rumors. Bams, who's usually fishing at, at the back of the inn, is actually one who told me about it. Its golden color isn't its only distinct trait either, he said. He mentioned what its flavor is to die for, too. Ooh, now you've got my attention. Huh, I'm afraid I'd be lying if I said I wasn't interested in a taste myself. That's certainly understandable, after hearing so much about it, I wanted nothing more than to try it. I've been bugging the towel uh, about it for a while now. And now it seems like, thanks to you, I might finally get my chance to try it. Fishing, huh? I guess braces, braces even take on jobs like this. Yeah, this fish is so elusive though. What are the chances we could even catch one before the day's end? But that seems to be the most obvious issue here. Is it even possible to catch this fish in Lake Abel? Doesn't seem so, unfortunately. Bams mentioned that he did catch several, several of them here at one point, but he hasn't found that one at the end of his line for several decades now. Well, it doesn't ex exactly inspire confidence, you know. How about we go about catching it then? And where? Well, I actually received some promise and info from Towel that put me back on the trail. He claims he's seen a golden sparkle in the river along the highway several times now. Hell, yeah, all the sparkle sightings have been in different locations, though. Hmm, well, at least that narrows our search on the river. To the river. True. It'll be much easier than trying to search the lake like, uh, lake would be. Might be able to find it, then. I know it won't be easy, but I'd be pleased as punch if you did catch one. But now that I think about it, do you have the right tools for the job? Sure do. I brought my rod with me. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Will this work? Hmm, let's see what you got there. Hmm, I'm not sure if this is gonna cut it. Gold salmon is supposedly quite a hefty fish, and this rod is designed for smaller catches. I think you might be better off using one of our leaner road rods. Hmm, sorry about that. I'll be sure to make a good use of this. Allow us to make our way, man. Yeah, let's go. Uh, I probably need some kind of crazy bait as well. Jeez, what do you get for me? Oh, wait, no. What do you get? Okay, buy 99 of that. Alright, you got the 99 of that. Alright, move it on. I guess we're gonna fish. I fish in Persona, I'm gonna fish in Trails of the Sky, Trails of Cold Steel, I mean. So, let's see how it's gonna go. Hopefully it's gonna be not as annoying as... I actually can't remember a single fishing system I enjoyed. Uh, a line H2 actually had kind of an okay system. You needed to look at how the fish fought back. Like if it was wiggling around really fast, then you needed to use one skill. If it was pretty slow, then you needed to use another skill. So... You had this kind of a rotation of one skill, then another skill, then one skill. And sometimes you could fin fish out giant monster monsters of level like 74 or something. 
Uh, hello. Who are you exactly? That shiny golden glow. I simply can't wait, wait to catch it. It seems like a good spot to fish, but I wasn't expecting someone to be here already. She seems to be an ordinary civilian, and a noble at that. I'm surprised she stayed this far from town. Should we try talking to her? Yeah, might as well. Excuse me, could we talk to you for a moment? Who are you? Wait, I recognize you. You're that military academy student who saved me in my hour of need several months ago. Oh yeah, I think we met once before. When? <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, so you know her? I, I, I was trying to remember, but I seriously don't remember her. <laughs> yeah, I ran into her while we were out in Celtic on our first, very first field study. Ah, uh, now I remember. One of our tasks involved delivering a lost wallet to its, own, its owner. And it just so happened that the wallet belonged to this lady in front of us. I still don't remember it. I think something like that might, might have happened, like... If you told me what happened, I would believe you, but I don't remember it. <laughs> mm, I see. <laughs> I'm very grateful for what you did for me. Sadly, that wall has become rather lighter since you returned it to me. Oh. Might we ask what brings you here? I would have thought that was obvious. I'm trying to catch my dinner, of course. Some might think the fishing is a legendary hobby, but I would beg to differ. It's proven to be an essential survival skill. I see. I don't remember her being anything like this last time. So what inspired you to come this far out of town to fish? You could have just sat on a dock in the ground, right? She could have, yes. The ground is conveniently situated right on the, right on the shores of Lake Abela, after all. Surely it wasn't necessary to brave the dangers of a highway to come out this far just to fish. <laughs> That's where you're wrong, I'm afraid. A first class angler needs a first class class spot. He's a fishing on the shores of a peaceful, peaceful lake. Just wouldn't satisfy me. What is it with this woman? She's certainly a unique individual. Sounds like you're after something special if I had to guess. Indeed I am. I've come here seeking a very elusive gold salmon. I heard tales of it from a gentleman in the ground by the name of Ben. But he also informed me that it cannot be, cannot be found in the Lake Abel, which is what led me to this spot. And sure enough, not long ago, I finally got a glimpse of a golden glimmer beneath the body's surface here. A golden glimmer? That sounds a lot like what Tovald said he saw too. Looks like this must be the spot then. <laughs> I should have known what you would be searching for it too. Very well then. Let us compete to see who can catch a gold salmon first. That's not re really what I had in mind when we first came out here. That aside, it seems like I have to found the location. Our location. True enough, let's get fishing. So, on the other side? Or right, right by her side? This looks like a nice spot. Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's see. Change rod? No fish. Fish and rod. What does it mean, free? Instructions, let's go with that. Uh, press. Space? Okay, <laughs> I can't see shit, that's too far. Okay, after casting you lure, press space when uh, that appears. A fish will bite. Reading in the fish after you get the bite, repeatedly press the indicated button to reel in the fish. Oh god, it's a spam again. Buttons you will need to press depends on the fish you're catching. Alright. Uh, why can't I use that? Just like that. Holy shit. Gold salmon. Impossible. You got a gold salmon before me? How can this be happening? 
<laughs> now you're making me feel kind of bad about it. Still, thank you very much for telling us about the golden glimmer you saw. Oh, yeah, rub it in her face, why don't you? Emma, come on, have some tact. This is ridiculous. You may not have fought the fish here if not for your guidance. Fair play is a necessary element in any competition, think nothing of it. Besides, I simply paid for price for a paid the price for underestimate underestimating you. It was my fault what I lost. I thought my experience over the past several months had strengthened me, but it seems I still have room to improve. Well, that's the first fish I ever caught, so yeah, you definitely need to improve if I beat you. <laughs> and improve I shall, until one day I'm known across the land as the finest angler of in all of Erebonia. Well, I bid you a good day. Yeah, I'm over to you. Uh, that was ridiculous. <laughs> okay, moving on. I don't think fishing is actually that bad, but yeah, I would not go out of my way to do that. No, sir. Especially with rewards. I got some Sabbath for it. Yay, Sabbath. I only have... Mm, where is it? Okay, so... 7 by 90. Okay, so... Is it 90,000 or is it 900,000? <laughs> Whatever. Basically a million, okay? Oh no, I only have a million step of. That 90 is probably gonna make a huge difference. I totally wanna fish some more. <laughs> yeah, of course I'm not gonna do that. But I do remember there were some accessories you could get for uh, fishing. You, you get some special baits, you fish some giant crab, and you might get uh, a special accessory which just gives you like a ton of strength or something like that. This game might have something like that as well. I should probably check it out later. Oh, hey everyone! Do I deceive, deceive me, or is that where the legendary gold salmon you have there? Define all the odds, it actually is. Here we go. Green headed the gold salmon to, to the... I forget the name. Oh, and here's your red back. Oh my, it's it's so beautiful. I really can't thank you enough. It's even more splendid than in Bam's tall tales. Now I can see why people liken the, its appearance to Goldia too. So, when are you gonna cook it for us? Really now? <laughs> I see you're as curious about its taste as I am. Naturally, I have every, every intention of sharing the taste of this triumphant, triumphant catch with all of you. As for how to bring out the finest flavor, river fish tends to be best suited to grilling, so just wait a few minutes while I fire up the grill. Hmm, I'm kinda looking forward to this now. And to think, we've got we've got some food from one of our morning tasks too. <laughs> it feels like we've just been stuffing our faces today. And so it was with the forks held high. They all dug in and enjoyed the fruits of their labor. I don't know, is single fish enough for six people? <laughs> well, seven if you include the cook. Well then, what do you guys think? I didn't even start. Well, the amount of fat was just perfect. Sublime, even. Agreed. I never would have imagined that the taste is exquisite. I'm glad I... To see my earlier skepticism what was wholly unwarranted. It's hard to believe what this was just grilled. Yeah, I didn't even get to think what you could get the fish this tasty. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. You know, I was surprised at how delicious it was. It just melts in your mouth. I feel like it's my duty to share it with the rest of the town now. Looks like I have to put in another request with Tolo. Uh, I'm sure he'll gladly accept. Yeah, once he hears about how good it is, he'd have to be crazy to turn down the opportunity. <laughs> you said it. Honestly, though, I want to thank you all again for your help. Unfortunately, all I can offer is a stock from the, st from the store. But please take it. Well, I think I already have all of that, but whatever, thank you. I wish you all the best of your rest of your field study. Thank you. Good day, then. Okay, so I guess we're just gonna bu go back to the Bracer Guild. And just in case, I wanna save. Since the game likes to throw weird fights at me. Okay, I'm trying away. Follow your ports. Yes, I'm to the guild. Well, we got our task, so I've done that. That's 
Thus, the members of Group A brought their fruitful day to of work to an end. And following the instructor towels, towel, instructions Tovel left for them, they began the not so exciting process of filing their paperwork. Oh, the paperwork! Can't get enough of that! Such a fun time. <laughs> I wonder what we write, though. <laughs> of course, Minnie is already sleeping. Oh, I'm finished. Yeah, we just finished getting everything sorted out. Goodness, that was exhausting. <laughs> Mad little brat. She could have at least tried and help instead of lying around like a house cat. I can't say I'm surprised. I doubt she's used to spending this long on such exciting tasks. Oh well, we're almost finished. <laughs> yeah, alright then. Still, it really goes to show how top rate no Toll is. He fulfills a lot of requests of on his own. And still has the time to handle all day to task reality of day to day realities of running the guild branch. And yeah, by the way, uh, Trails in the Sky, you were a bracer, and every time you, were, you went to a bracer guild, you had the receptionist. And sometimes even more people than that, like a couple of other bracers, maybe some ca some people who just hang out there sometimes. Basically, you never filed the reports yourself. It's always the receptionist who helped you a ton. So, the fact that he does it himself is actually quite a big deal, and not just like Oh yeah, he's such a hard worker. Indeed, it's even more impressive when you consider what he finds time to visit other regions of the country as well. His mobility and knack for solving problems are exactly what one would expect from a bracer. His guilt may have been forced out of the country, but he's still out there trying to help as many people as he can. Even though we, when we were in Barrehard, he came to our aid. And if you look at all those records, it's clear that people really trust him and rely on him for help. That's... that's very true, but... What's up? It's something the matter. No, I was just thinking. Bracers play an essential role to people in other countries. Are we not just as essential to your audience? Well... You may be right. And not just because they help maintain public order and provide other services. But ideal prioritizing the protection of civilians above all else is pretty noble. It's something people admire. That's certainly true. In many ways, it's that form of nobility that's beginning to fall by the wayside with an Erebonian's aristocracy. I'm not sure the issue is as black and white as you'd have it. Ooh, I like that. Getting some discourse. My guild is an organization first and foremost, and one based far too, uh, too much on the idealism. And far too little on practicality. Donations and public funding can only go so far in covering its operating costs. It's no stretch at all to say what the empire as it is now. The guild's removal was inevitable. That's what my brother said once we, we discussed this. Chooses. Looks like his brother is waiting on his mind. I suppose that's another way to look at it. Yeah, I was always confused exactly how do we get to funding. I have to admit, it sounds rather cold and dismissive. But it does carry more weight coming from Rufus Albarea. Oh, Emma, they so big. <laughs> and soft. Medium? Look at that. She doesn't even have to be aware. <laughs> Awake to be an irritant. <clears throat> anyway. It shouldn't take too much longer to finish filing the rest of the reports. We should focus on everything, getting everything done and returning to the mansion. Sound good to me. Uh, excuse me, is anyone here? Oh, I remember you. You were... Uh, uh, cleaning up. You were the... Get a bit, not the janitor, and now I've worked, worked for it. Oh, you're the girl who works at the Dell store, aren't you? Oh, Lady Laura? Is Double here by any chance? I'm afraid, to I'm afraid Towel is out of town on business at the moment. It's something the matter. They haven't come home. Julian and Carter still haven't come home back home from a castle. Castle? Seriously? <sighs> you don't mean... Did those two get go to the Lo Longrin's castle? Surely you don't mean to suggest that took a boat took a boat without any supervision. I'm afraid so. I said something about going on an adventure. Then they took one of the boats without even asking. 
It's evening now, and we still haven't come back. That sounds like a serious problem. Yeah, and Red and Tomal is away from the guild, too. We just have to do whatever we can to help out. I agree. We can just stand back and hope we'll come back. We prepare to search Blake. We'll need a boat ourselves. I'll have Klaus prepare one for us at once. While you do that, I'll wake up Miriam and we'll have another look around the town to see if we can find them. You can just fly with Melee. Can't you do that? Who needs a boat? You can fly with, fly with Melee. She can probably just ferry everyone over, over the lake one by one. And that would probably still be faster than the boat. Because, you know, flying, giant robot. Whatever. Speeding up and searching the town does seem to be the best course of action. Thank you. Rest assured, we'll do all we can to find them. Alright. The group searched the town from top to bottom, but they found no sign of the missing children. And by the time the other residents became aware of what was happening, evening had given way to night. Oh, it's gonna be a messy day, isn't it? I gotta have to explore the castle. And it's gonna be a complete freaking mess. Well, I think it's safe to say the boys aren't in town. The boys are back in town! Looks like, looks like we really did get out of, of the castle on the boat. Legs has been calm. There's no sign of a boat on the, on the water, so since it's not, it's unlikely they capsized. <sighs> Guess what leaves, leaves the castle then, right? Lohengrin Castle was once the stronghold of the Eisenreiter. And while the Astrid family is still its stewards, it's rare that anyone ventures inside. I hope nothing terrible has happened to them. My parents are really worried too. I've asked them to come to stay at home and wait for us to contact them, but... At this point, all we can do is venture into the castle and see what we can find. We have use of... Uh, we have use of a boat now, do we not? We do. A couple students from our Astrid school are preparing a normal boat for us as we speak. It does worry me, but it has started to go misty, to grow misty again, though. Now let's head down to the wharf. Let's make sure all of our equipment is sorted out and we have everything we need just in case. Oh, I don't like that phrase. Oh no, man! <laughs> Something nasty is gonna happen, isn't it? Ah. Right, let's hurry. You're gonna be fighting giant monsters, aren't we? I don't wanna fight giant monsters, man. <sighs> yeah, but Emma definitely doesn't have some quartz. Like only four spells, she's supposed to have a lot more than I had. Oh wait, she only has level one. And tell us? Tell what nonsense. He's kidding me. You're supposed to use this crap. It's something better. You guess you can do much better than that. It's gonna cause more Huh. That's good. That's pretty good. Okay, mind one. Place it with mine two. AP one. Place it for BP2. Action 1, action 2. Did I miss it? Nope, there it is. Cast 1, cast 2. Do, 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 do. Cast 2. Okay, then you need some kind of spell to deal a ton of damage. Uh, okay, so I have wind. I kinda have fire, I guess. Do I have any powerful water spells? Lion M. I don't like that. Lion L. Okay, I like the sound of that. Let's use this. Okay, you have everything. You seem to have everything as well. Oh, you're almost empty. Okay, you have a bunch of useless stuff. Deck free, blind. Leg breaker? <laughs> you know, let's go for a leg breaker. Maybe it's actually good. It's not like I use him use him much anyway. And let's give you a move, why not? Action one, let's place it with action two. Action Oh whoa, hold up. You can hold multiple attacks? You can have multiple attacks? You can stack them? Hold up, you can can stack them on different lines? Oh no, each each you can use once. Holy crap. That changes a lot of things. 
That makes a lot of more build variety. Holy crap. Ooh boy. That's gonna make things interesting. Okay, I guess you're not gonna have spells. Uh, what's gonna give you? Passion. Let's go ahead. Just get some passives. Doesn't matter which. Oh, it's speed, speed. Oh no, it's strength, strength, strength. Uh, should I not? Okay, you have stuff. Good, 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 good. But still, yeah, that's, that's pretty interesting. Anyway, boat, 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 boat. There's a boat. There's a moat. Gonna go eat a goat. No, oh, that's a wrong way. Yeah, I keep looking at the, at the minimap because I can't really see anything in the game because it's too dark. And I'm like, there's still blue stuff there. I must be able to go in that direction. But no, that's not the case. Yo. That's too dark. I need to increase the brightness. Hold up. I see the robot boat has been prepared. My lady. Yeah, we just finished get, getting ready for your departure. Oh, so this is a normal boat, huh? Looks kind of fun. This hardly seems like the time to be getting excited for a boat ride. I've operated normal boats before, so I'll steer us to our destination. Alright, I'll leave it to you, man. My lady, please wait. I, I still feel we ought, we ought to be once going out and searching. You shouldn't have to trouble yourself with matter like, matters like these. I appreciate your concern, but as a part of Viscount Daughter, as the... But as the Viscount's daughter, I feel this is a part of my duties with, to the people of the Graham. It also happens to fall under the scope of our field study. Can't deny that. We'll do all we can to support her. You needn't worry. Very well. I doubt there's anything more I can say what gets you to change your mind. The last patrol of the castle was just a few days ago, and there was no sign of anything unusual then. It shouldn't be that dangerous. Hmm, <laughs> really? Wind blowing from the direction of the castle does feel pure. It's said that the castle's atmosphere is cold and clear due to its connections to with Saint Sandlot and the Eisenrater. It's highly uncommon for monsters to settle there, so the children are most likely safe. Although it's impossible to rule out what an accident might have, may have befallen them. Yeah, way, we need to get over there and find out as soon as possible and stop talking about freaking nothing. Indeed, we should depart at once. Is everyone ready to depart? After departing from Morgan Green Castle, you will be able to return. Oh god, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this. I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, 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 let's pause. I feel like something gigantic is gonna happen, so yeah, I'm gonna take a break. 